Hello, I'm Dr. Franco, Medical Director of the Arthritis Center of Riverside. I'd like to talk to you about an area that I have a great interest in, which is scleroderma. Scleroderma is usually a disease of poor prognosis and frequently death, but we have treated patients who have scleroderma in a very successful way. We treat that with antibiotics. What is the cause of scleroderma is uncertain, but we have found that patients who have tight skin, as is characteristic of scleroderma, as well as internal organ involvement, improve. One of the early symptoms of scleroderma is Raynaud's. They have cold hands, cold feet, which is caused by vasoconstriction. Blood vessels constrict, there is poor circulation, there is color change, and when that gets to be severe, there can be damage at the fingertips, which is called gangrene. The outer skin becomes very tight and patients have difficulty opening their mouth and moving their extremities. But they also have internal organ involvement. It can affect the heart, it can affect the lung, it can affect the kidneys and the gastrointestinal tract as well. It is important to remember that there is a valve here, the gastroesophageal valve, which connects the food pipe with the stomach that is not very tight in patients with scleroderma. When that happens, they have reflux of acid from the stomach, which they at night aspirate into the lungs, and this acid cooks their lungs. So eventually they can have what we call pulmonary fibrosis. We have found that patients who start the antibiotic treatment, within a year, they soften up. That is to say, their skin becomes softer. And now that is very uncommon with any conventional treatment, because there is no such treatment. But my experience shows that patients can improve significantly and the skin changes as well as some internal changes can reverse. So there is a lot of hope for scleroderma patients. So the message here is that scleroderma is a disease that can be controlled. The results are better closer to the onset of the illness. So I encourage anybody who has scleroderma to look into the antibiotic treatment for scleroderma. There is not much research around, but our experience is very positive for that.